What's up, everybody? This is Thaddeus Tribbett, and you're watching J. Ross TV, baby. What's up, y'all? Hanging Woo! downtown St. Louis, y'all. Let me show y'all. In front of the arch, y'all, with my boy Thaddeus Tribbett. <laughs> Bass phenom Thaddeus Tribbett, y'all in town for the concert tonight. Hey, Thad, man, I appreciate you coming out, hanging out with me, man, and uh, blessing J. Ross TV. But I'm going to get right to it, man. Now, I just watched you at Soundcheck killing it. Hey, what what inside, what, 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 what's your head thinking when you play all that stuff can't nobody else play? It's funny because when I play, I actually empty my mind out and try to feel the music, try to become the bass, just try to really play from my heart and just be as, a, as, 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 much, to as much as possible, use my imagination to, to, to whatever degree I can. Yeah, but look, all right, so say when you jam and, and your creativity start coming forth, do you see the notes coming or is it just something just come out of you? I, 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 I'm at, I actually make a lot of mistakes <laughs> when I play. I don't see all the notes coming when I play. Sometimes when I move or what have you, I like to dance a lot and that actually helps me yeah. how I'm going to play it. Sometimes I'm like, all right, I want to move my hand like this. I wonder what type of sound will come if I do that. Right. And you know, I play the bass so notes are gonna be there. It's really it's a really stupid psychotic logic. <laughs> but for some reason it works for me. So, so that, that's all right. Yeah. So now growing up when you first started playing, did you have the same kind of approach then or or did you have to sit down and study and I was I was I was a real rug rat. I was just rugged rugged coming up because um I had a lot of I knew a few musicians and then I didn't know a lot and a lot of times when I would reach out to certain musicians I didn't get love. Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't get, you know, they I find that hard to believe. It's true. Okay. <laughs> so I spent a lot of time by myself and I used to sit next to the radio and listen to the gospel stations, Fred Hammond would come on, what have you. Whatever would come on, I would sit there with my bass and try to follow whatever is going on. Right. And third. Even my father, he told me, he said, I'm not going to get you a bass. We used to drive in the car, he said, I'm not going to buy you a bass unless you can hum the notes. So he would put on commission, he would put on something, and I would, while he's driving, I would have to get up behind him and start humming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, whatever. So right, right. He tried to make sure I had an ear before he would invest in it. But, um, you know, it was, I spent a lot of time by myself though, coming up. So now all the cats didn't show you love. Now you're getting all love now playing all over the world. There was a few people that did what they could, but the ones I really expected to, it wasn't like that. And, yeah. and that's why, um, you know, that's why my relationship with God is paramount to my playing. You know what I mean? Because he was, to me, that was all I had. You right. Know what I'm saying? I had this one scripture that I memorized and I knew and I loved it. And it just kept me through everything else, you know, so. So now your Fender bass, the world famous Thaddeus Fender. <laughs> Fender P, baby. Hey, now, what about that bass making so special for you? Man, this, this, there's a reason why people keep saying, why do you keep playing this bass? Why don't you get a new bass? I'm sick of seeing this bass. And me and this bass have such a history beyond what people have seen on TV and stuff like that. That's the bass, when I started off, that bass used to get trashed so much. What do you mean when you say trashed? The old heads or the older <laughs> guys, the musicians that had the Ken Smiths, the PVs, whatever they had, the six string, five strings. I used to do these church gigs and these little gigs and I used to be backstage waiting to perform. Me and my brother, of course, we did everything together. And they used to come see me like, hey, 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 young fella, you play bass? Yeah? Let me see, let me see what you got, let me see what you got. They used to pick up my bass and be like, oh. <laughs> hey, you better get yourself a real bass, young boy. We'll see what you do. This happens so many times, yo. And I used to just sit down like, okay, cool, cool. They trashing me, cool. I used to say my little scripture, just a little focus, then get on and play, and you know, God opened doors, and I don't know, that was, that, that oxymoron kind of helped me, you know, be great. Yeah, so now, you play with a lot of different gospel artists. Now, notice you don't use the same approach. So, when you, uh, when you with a particular artist, what you try to feel, the direction they going and you will add your flavor to it or you just what i try to connect to the person when i play um i'm not the, i'm far from the greatest bass player in the world i don't have a whole library of licks a whole library of stuff i just pull out like i know they're gonna feel this i can't do that stuff victor wouldn't do marcus maurice Fitzgerald, like a lot of cats i can't even try to attempt to do what they do yeah so when i play i i, I usually play with my eyes and my ears right 
because I think I lack it here. I'll watch the artists, I'll see where they're going. Yeah. And I'll try some. If they like it, okay, cool, they like that. Try something else and watch the other band members, watch the musicians in church, watch the organist, watch his foot. Watch, just watch where they're going and, and, and see connect to that person. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you can grow musically because there's music is unlimited to me. There's always somebody great, there's always more to learn. So if you keep pulling out what you already do, it's gonna get played out. And somebody and everybody's not gonna like it. Right. Like you said with different gigs, you can't play for this artist the way that you play for that artist. You know what I mean? So stay open, you know what I mean?